the Delphi murders. This is an opinion video. It's irrelevant. You shouldn't watch it. Okay. The police department needs to release the exact file. The file, not a copy. A, no, the file. When you take a file and, and move a copy of it from one hard drive to another, unless there's some intrinsic mechanism built into it to make it to where it has to alter itself each time, like digital rights management, you can literally copy the file without doing a damn thing. It's insanely easy. Zip the damn thing shut with a password that you publish with the file and tell everybody, have at it, we give up. This murder happened a long time ago. It isn't a cold case. Where it happened and the conditions it was in indicate strongly that either A, one of the two men who look a whole hell of a lot like the guy who did this, or was there anyway, but one of them killed himself, and it's a really weird conditions. He probably, he might have been actually guilty. And another guy is in jail for something else may have life imprisonment. And he looks a lot like the guy. But the police department not admitting I can't and I have failed is the problem here. We are emotionally involved in this. Then stop investigating it. You're too close to it. Uh, two girls were murdered, and the only information at all that they recorded was a suspicious acting or looking person in the immediate area. It's the only bit of data. Now I'm gonna say this on camera. Dear everyone on the internet, if I turn up dead and someone finds this laptop or a cell phone I get, I never have a cell phone, and I've recorded a selfie recording and recorded someone suspiciously directly behind me, you are to physically, literally, mechanically pry the damn equipment out of the police department's arms if they won't post the raw, unedited, unaltered, no stabilization, do not enhance, it is not a lens flare moment video. Because if I'm dead, I don't want them touching the evidence because they won't give you the evidence. This is a no compromise, overt, public, life affirming statement. This is my living will and testament on 3.39 p.m. Sunday, December 1st, 2019. If I turn up dead and the police department won't give you all the raw files of everything pertinent, you are to mechanically, and I'm not kidding about this, force them by physical compelling, that means twisting and, bis and, and, and pulling parts out of, out of socket, make them give you the data. Make them dump it. Make it a moment in history where the police department is told that their overarching need for dominating a situation, we have control over the situation. No, you fucking don't. Welcome to the world of chaos. If somebody manages to kill me, and I manage to leave one clue behind, and anybody's gatekeeping it, rip the gate down. This is infuriating. If I'm investigating a UFO video, the first requirement I have is that nobody is able to edit, alter, slow down, speed up, zoom in and out, any of the damn content. Give me the raw file and get the fuck out of my way and stop trying to make me think a certain thing. Well, we've released the information that's needed. Right. I did a better stabilization job than they did because I hand stabilized each frame of what little we were allowed to get. We need the raw file. Refusing to give us the raw data because you're teasing like the Joker in press conferences at one point, different words including a reference to a biblical passage or a story. Because you're trying to tease the person out of the woodwork hasn't fucking worked. Well, we have to withhold certain details because only the murderer would know those details and we need them to slip up because they think that's how bad guys work, that they monologue shit. Or it's a slip of the Freudian slip joint plier that I used to uh, uh, crush your nuts. No. That's literally not how criminals work. 90% of the criminals, if you catch them, will confess really quickly because they're trying to lower their, their sentencing. One guy was willing to kill himself to avoid being caught because maybe he, got, he thought he'd be associated with this. And yet we have YouTube channels that do things like, I'm going to make this about my horoscope of the week so I can get page views. Or I'm going to manipulate the images to point out somebody at a college nearby that I don't like as being the murderer. And we have people... In, in the comment section with channel names like Truth or Patriot, Uber, Spiritual, Feeling, or whatever, saying, right on, this is the truth. We are all about truth. No, you're fucking not. And neither is the police department. In a million cases, we've all seen. Vegas being one of our favorites. 
if they just released the raw data. Then they did. And it reaffirmed, much to their own horror, their own idea. Their own assertions were affirmed if they had just released the data. Well, we were still investigating. Investigating what? In the case of this murder, two girls were killed near a bridge. Exact location, GPS, pathway, material, evidence, DNA chain data. DNA, when you analyze it, comes out as a data file, you fuckheads. Yes, I'm angry with the police department for the billionth time this year. I'm angry with the police department not doing that thing that they should do. Say, I can't or I don't know. The hardest thing on earth for a contrarian or an ignorant asshole to do. Yes, I'm critiquing them. Release the raw videos. Let us do it. Reddit might actually solve this in 15 minutes. Reddit was able to ch track down something that someone was only indicating by the angle of a webcam pointed at something as a some sort of uh, SJW protest and they still found this thing on camera and tore it down when it was pointed up at the fucking sky. How? Because they saw planes flying by and figured out what plane was flying by what area that moment. They did the kind of stuff I do where I sit down and realize, oh, this video of the UFO shows the sunset over on this part and the UFOs over here is that really sunset? And I check frame back and forward and realize he went up and down a hill. I can figure out how much altitude that is. Oh, look, a mile marker. And then 15 or 20 minutes later, I found the fucking location and found out it was a fucking lighthouse. Because it was pulsing. No, because it was on continue, it was a light marker. That is something different instead of a lighthouse, it's a light marker. It's sort of like those moon lamps or, or moon towers in some cities where they try to provide a really bright light in the middle of the city that wouldn't light up shit except for maybe a few roads. Really dumb idea, by the way. Yes, it was one of those. That was a long time ago. Look, what I'm saying here is you have literally millions of people who want to find out what really happened and bring the bastard or bastards to justice. Based on that image in a video, you won't give us a full, unedited, raw file copy of. Won't, not can't. There's nothing technically limiting them and they don't have to edit anything. The parents can give permission for this or legally compel them to give them back the data and they can release it. Their lawyers can do this out of desperation to find the killer. And here's the important thing. I'm going to say it. The guy on the bridge might not have been the one who murdered them. Yeah, he could have literally been someone unrelated. Three or four people, well, four people have been indicated as possible suspects. Some of them, clear. well, why weren't they cleared? We're not allowed to tell you that because it's concerning another case the person's almost all four of them were arrested for some damn thing. Usually the parole violations. The real reason they're not going to tell you is something simple. They were not anywhere near the location at the exact moment the murder must have happened. They give approximate time and date stamps because they want the killer to say, oh yeah, I killed him at 4 p.m. or 6 a.m. or whatever the fuck it is. The time and date stamps are in the video data and in the photos, right? The first contact, apparently, is a person saying, down the hill. He might have been saying, oh, there's a pathway down the hill. This guy could have literally not even been the one on the audio recording. They're not releasing them as a tandem data recording so we can find out the proximity or, or temporal connection. It could have been 10 minutes later that they heard this. We don't have that data. And they don't want us to have the data because they think that not having the information visible is going to help the, co the case to be done. All right, what do you have for evidence? You have bodies. You have the pathway from where you found the bodies to the most likely path they got there. You, you trace from where you find the bodies, where the movements are, as best you can. And it might have led back to the bridge. The only evidence the person's shoes would have left would have been shoe prints or material from the shoes. It's a, it's a train trestle. It's going to have people crossing it all the time. People did it all the time before they died. People visited that area. It was kind of part of the pathway. So that's not useful data. The useful data through the pathways or through the brush if he dragged them through? Okay. Well, was it an area that was frequently passed? If it was, they have no data. Them not giving us information is an indication, not that they're being withholding or being obnoxious or stupid about it, it's that they're following standard procedures. Um, in the building I used to live in, there was an incident where the police came in and they said, yeah, we can't really release any information yet, but we will later when we have to. What was the withholded information? the exact minute, because they had a way of recording that, that a person was hurt, not shot, but hit over the head. The sound on the audio recording on 911, the exact second. That was the only thing they withheld, because 
they needed to find a way to co coordinate any particular detail that is literally precise and is falsifiable or can be used to falsify other data must be withheld because it's useful. It acts like a, a code key to reality, facts, and truth. But the trouble with it is we're, I think, over two years late now. They're not releasing the entire file. They're releasing an extremely edited, altered, worthless file. Well, have you seen this man? See what man? It's a blur. Give me the damn data and let a bunch of us run it through an AI algorithm to create a 3D model of them. You haven't done that at all. That can be done. We need to know the focal length of the lens, make and model of the camera, need the raw file, nothing else, and we need to know not approximately exactly where the girl was when she was aiming the camera and what she was doing with movement. We need the full screen image. Any editing of any kind makes that physically impossible. You may be stopping some random game nerd in Mississippi from reconstructing this. It could be done. Maybe not, but it could be. Oh, well, we've invoked the FBI. The FBI doesn't write code, as well as a 14-year-old kid desperately trying to create anime titties in a video game. They're good at this. You are not. Their motivations are primal. Yours are technical. Trust me. I'm going to throw anime titties in here just because. People who object to whatever motivation a person has, even if it's pure interest of some high school kid trying to make a video game character, literally have physics that matches a kid... Uh, uh, a cat girl on screen. Yeah. That kid. Yeah. He works at uh, Google. He's part of the group that made facial animations that make it to where you can unlock your fucking phones. Currently working at Google. Yeah, he said his original you know, thing was trying to create bouncy physics for the Unreal Engine. That's how I know about him. For a cat girl character. It doesn't matter where we get the data sources from. And in this point, it really matters whether or not we get the clean data source. Sorry to invoke that, but you won't forget I said it. Literally something like that. Me wanting to do video game engine activity? No, it wasn't to put Laura Croft in a video game. No, it's because I wanted to write a video game, just learn how to do it. And I also wanted to model the city of Portland. And I know that if I sat down and had a lot of room and a lot of money, I could build a better version of Google Street View than you have now because it would be literally walk-around mode. It wouldn't be Street View, it would be walking view. It'd be a giant AI-built video game level that would be nearly perfect. Uh, I would have to hand edit 90% of it, but I could do it. It would make it easy. And all it would require is all these different images going up and down this road. You correlate them. I've done this before. You can even find websites that'll let you do this with a couple of dozen images and it'll create a 3D model or even one image. But no, us normals out here aren't allowed to look at this data because the police department is stuck and can't solve this. Yes, yeah, somebody somewhere will brag and talk about this. I understand that. Someone will slip up. They'll investigate, maybe find the guy. But wouldn't it be a little bit better if they made it to where everyone was able to look at the data entirely? Because it's all we got, right? Was there any other data? Oh, well, there's phone records. That's time and date stamps and GPSs. That's it. Dump all the data. It's not bad to ask for help, even if you're a police uh, officer. And at this point, anything you thought was going to be able to be withheld that would be pertinent later if you could get a confession out of the person is probably garbage. And also, again, one of the people who killed himself, uh, he might have been guilty. And the person on the screen in that image may not even be the killer. It could have been just a random person walking through. It was a public area people walk through all the time. It might be a person who just went through and left. Do they have the video cameras from all the parking locations that were likely used? Did they follow anybody else visually? Or was it a guy who got lost in the woods? We don't know. And they're not telling us anything. Have you seen this man? It's been X number of years. Nobody's seen him. Because you won't give us a full copy of the image and data. As for the asshole who keeps trying to accuse somebody he has an axe to grind against for trying to invoke that that person has to be the murderer, you're a piece of shit. And as for everybody in the comment section say, rah, 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 go after your the bully that beat you up in grade school or whatever, you're all a bunch of shit too. But the police department needs to release the data. It's not going to go any further. We're done. And yeah, the FBI's gone through it and hasn't found anything either. Again, the raw file, not the refile. Bye.